This episode of The Direction is brought to you by Bloodhound, the leader in private utility locating. This week I have the opportunity to fish with Mark Mason of Bloodhound. Say, look at this, you've got two fish on there. I sure do. Two of them are on there. Look at that. Oh, that's good stuff they're fighting for. Same hook. We're gonna stop by and pick up a good friend of mine, Tim Laird. That's my whole life, is food and having a great time. I mean, that's what I do for a living. This guy, he's a cooking fanatic. Oh, oh a bit of that toasted pecan. Mark, this place is um, full of bass. It is. Now we need a couple of them big growed up ones to grab yeah. this thing. I'm Mark Stowe, and each week we head out fishing. All right, here we go. Being joined by people who have a story to share. Join us as we tell their stories oh, and baby. catch some fish along the way. This is The Direction. I'm out here loading the boat up and we're getting ready to head to Indiana. We're gonna have two guests with us this week. We're gonna be joined by Mark Mason of Bloodhound. This guy is all about keeping people safe. Bloodhound is a utility locating service and Tim, well, this guy is known as the CEO, the Chief Entertainment Officer. This guy is nothing but entertainment and you're gonna have to stay with us. We're gonna stop by and pick up a good friend of mine, Tim Laird. This guy, he's a cooking fanatic, and hopefully later, he's gonna be showing us how to cook up some good fish. So we've got the great Tim Laird here. Tim's gonna be kinda like a surprise to these guys. <laughs> they don't know he's coming. But, uh, you know, uh, Mark and them, they're always talking about food and having a good time. Uh, the group of guys that were going up there, and actually the guy, Mark Mason, we're going up to meet. Uh, these guys are always having a you know, great time everything they do. Well, I'll tell you what, what that's, my, that's my whole life, is food and having a great time. I mean, that's what I do for a living, so we're gonna have some fun. I, I can't wait. You know, it's been a while since I've been fishing, but I, I love to cook fish, and uh, I've got some great recipes I'm gonna share with you. But, uh, so you better catch something. Of course, if you don't, I'll be out there, I'll be out there too. So uh, I know we're gonna land something for the pan. The arrival is here. When you look out here, look at this. I don't know what to say about this. I'm, I'm just in awe. There's gotta be some fish over there, isn't there? There's at least gotta be one or two. <laughs> you know, so. Man, this place. This, it's, it's gorgeous. This was a now. diamond to get a hold of here, though, with this lake on it. And it was a pay lake, and a lot of guys come out here. It's fairly And they're, you know what? We're from around oh, here goes, okay. I forgot about this place. Yeah, my daddy used yeah. to bring me out here to go fishing. Yeah, so it's been here that long? I want to say like the 50s or the 60s. That's what I want to say. Wow. Wow. I can kick back and chill out here. Is, uh, can't you though? I mean, you just feel comfortable. You just relax. You walk. Oh, it does make you feel that way. Just go, oh. Mark, this is an amazing spread that you have out here. I mean, I know a few years ago you invited me to come out and told me about this place. And I know we've kind of talked about doing this and, and, uh, I have to say, coming down that gravel drive, and I don't know how long it was, but it's a trip back here. Uh, this is beautiful, and I can't wait to hit this body of water tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to catching some fish with you, and I appreciate you uh, bringing us out here to do this, because that's a body of water. <laughs> this week, I have the opportunity to fish with Mark Mason of Bloodhound. Bloodhound is a private utility locating company, which simply means that if you have utilities that are privately owned, they can find and locate these utilities. A private utility is like a gas line that runs from your house to your pool house or, or an electric line that runs from your house to your garage. The utility company doesn't own that, it's privately owned. And if you have these utilities and you're gonna be doing a project that you're gonna need to cross over them or dig, Bloodhound, they're the folks to call. This segment was brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. This segment is brought to you by Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Watch me fall in the mud. I'm gonna try not to get mud all over it before we start. I'm real good at that. 
Hey, I can't, I can't stand it no longer. You know, one thing about me, I'll never wait for anybody to catch any fish. That's the way to make it start. Look, the boat ain't even left the bank yet. I'm gonna have to tell Mark. Hey, Mark, uh, you know, a good thoughtful fisherman gets down there catching fish while people are cooking breakfast. Oh, there's one. Now that might, be... I miss him. Oh, oh. No. No, it ain't right. It's not right. Hey, Mark, all I can say is while you're cooking, I'm fishing, man. I'm a heck of a nice guy. Breakfast is done. We're headed to the boat. The fun begins. Well, Mark, that was a great breakfast, man. This guy's full of hospitality. I mean, we got all these guys out here and everybody cooking. Uh, gonna be a good time, but I'm always about to fishing, so we need to hit the water. All oh, here, Mark. Mark, got one. Now. Oh boy. Mark, you opening the thing up, man. He's a little boy. Hey, Fish Tim. Him. Nine. Number nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, the line is going to start right now. Or, or half truths, let me put it that way. That no, better. not Tim. <laughs> Don't call him a liar. Look at you. Mark's over here giving me a little lesson in the how to's. We got a little drag coming out on this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Same size. The day is moving now. Is that your feeder fish? So they're over here talking fishing challenges now. We brought in eight so far, and you got, you're got you bragging about that one little one. Look at you guys. Big boats. They're going to make me <laughs> mad, and I'm going to get my little jig out, and I'm going to go to town here in a minute. I got some dynamite if you just want to get it over with. <laughs> Throw this redneck style. <laughs> just toss it out. Boom, there it is. Well, I don't, th I don't think it's going to be a trophy. It's still a fish. That's what they call it, gone fishing. That's a nice looking fish. Look at that. All right, my friend, I'll see you when you're a little bigger. All I hear at the moment is Tim Laird over there laughing, having fun. He's catching fish after fish and making fun of my boat on top of it. How long do you have the 811 boat? Uh, it'd be 10 years. Left. Wow. You know, and that's where a guy like you comes in because here you are, you know, your your part of it is, you know, that call goes into 811, that locates a utility. But then there's a company like yours, Bloodhound. You guys are the guys that got to go out there and locate those utilities. Right. But then there's public utilities and private utilities. So 811's called in the energy company or gas company or the water company, whoever, they send their folks out whatever locating company, they mark those lines. But then in your backyard might be a propane line. And you guys actually, Bloodhound, when I called you all, Mark, I was doing a church and you all sent your crew out. Well, there was propane lines back there, but I needed to know where those propane lines were and that. And that's where I pick up the phone and called you guys because being a landscaper and said, hey, I need to know what else there is behind this church because I don't want to injure one of my operators. I don't want to damage that church. I don't want to harm somebody. And you guys come in to locating those, what I'm going to call the private utilities. Um, but all of this has come about from a bass boat. And it's awesome to share, you know, the 811 message, but also say, look at this, you've got two fish on there. I sure do. Two of them are on there. Look at that. Hey, that's on cue. <laughs> you, you start talking some blood out of it. This is worthy of some pictures right there. Two fish. <laughs> How about that? Now, I can't say that this is not the first time. <laughs> Isn't that something? They were both You're going to get a fist bump. <laughs> you start talking about bloodhound and Mark right here make it happen. 
Now I'm gonna tell you something. We're gonna call this early on. This could be an 811 moment of the week right there at the early part of the show. What do you call that, a double barrel? I don't know what you'd call it. I don't know, but I can't say I've seen somebody do that on a tube. Oh, that's good stuff. They're fighting for it. Same hook, so one bit it, so let's get this one off first. That is like way too awesome. <laughs> he tried to take that bait from the other one. The other one, I've seen him come after him. Not to rotate it this way. Ah, he's in the water. Number one's on the release. This segment is brought to you by Denali Rods, tournament tested, tournament tough. Day on the water. Big breakfast on the water. Man, that was a big breakfast. It was. When we first got on the boat, I thought I was gonna have to take a nap. <laughs> Screen up here is the. That's the overflow. Overflow. Yeah. Yeah, and then the emergency overflow is over here to the left. If that can't keep up, it'll just roll over. Tim still there on the. Oh, they're over there having a the ball, I think. You know, hey, I, Mike, I got to back up. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm going to share this with you. Don't tell these guys, Mr. Professional uh, Fisherman. Uh, but uh, I actually went to my fish store. And I've got some nice fillets all ready to go. So in case uh, <laughs> we have it right. I'll tell you what, well, you know what we'll have to do this afternoon. We got, of course, the great Tim with us over there. And Tim is known by many, many folks for his, um, his love of food and uh, mixology and, and then all that. And Tim is gonna cooking us up a little crappie if we catch some fish maybe. You know, I think the real reason, though, uh, I was invited. He knows I, I'm a rookie fisherman, but I can cook. So I'll bet that's probably <laughs> why I got invited to this trip. Not for my fishing skills, but I think because of my cooking skills. So uh, at least I can do that part of it. All right, now we're at 10 o'clock. You know what you told me it happens at 10 o'clock, don't you, Brad? Yeah, all I know it's hot and it's humid. I, I'm sweating. Oh, I'm bringing wet. You know, Mark, this is the first time I've been on the water all year. Do what? I fish from the from the bank, but I haven't been out on the boat or anything all year. I've been too busy, too busy spreading the message of 811 and private locating. A little fun bait to throw, just chatter bait, little 3 8 ounce chatter bait, and a little Kitec trailer on the back of it. Sling it out there and catch them. Now I just want to catch one of these eight pounders. <laughs> That's a March thing. Oh, and I lost him, Mark. Now that was, oh, there's another one up there. Look at him. There he is. Yep. <laughs> I watched him come off that stick and eat that thing. There's a number of them up there. They got, they got them stirred up. Mark, you decide you want to throw something else. Keep yourself entertained. That's what I do. This? This has actually done pretty good so far. Oh, that, that stupid tube is awesome. <laughs> I love it, but you see, that's what I gave Tim and... Oh, there we go. I can't get through a stick for the life of me up there. Look at Mark, while I'm over here playing, getting hung up, he's putting them in the boat. I'm like a little kid. I can just keep doing this all day long and never get bored. Mark, this place is fun, full of bass. It is. Now we need a couple of them big growed up ones to grab this thing for showboat reasons. We do need one. I don't know though. It was pretty impressive seeing two caught at once this morning. <laughs> we rehearsed that. You know, I talked to the fish yesterday and I was like, listen, Mark Stowe's coming out. <laughs> you guys got to make me look good. There you go. I had another one come after at the same time. If I could have got two of them twice, that would have been awesome. Oh, did another one? Another one was, again. Yeah, he's right there. 
just need to tie a fluke on and let them go nuts trying to bust. Don't want to get finned. It's been a fun morning. We've caught quite a few fish. Uh, the beautiful lake you have here, and uh, my belly is saying, let's eat some lunch. And I think we got Tim up here going to do a little cooking of some crappie for us. Sounds good. I'm starving. I'll tell you what, I've got a great recipe that's so simple, easy to do. And I love this because I'll tell you what, there's not a lot of measuring going on. It's just basically, I'm starting out with butter. Everything goes better with butter. A little of olive oil in a hot pan. We're gonna put those right into that hot pan. And so what's You don't even have to bread these or anything. Oh, wait till you see this sauce is, I'm gonna make that goes on top of these. That's what you want, a little crust on that side. See that? Boom. I'm gonna give them a little salt and pepper once I get them flipped over. And look how quick you're awesome. doing this. Quick, on the spot, on the fly. Man, like I said, they're flaky. Nice. Oh, mm -hmm. give it a minute, because I got a sauce. It's kind of like a little 811. You got to wait to dig in. Wait before you dig. Here's, here's the secret. We're going to put the sauce together. And like I said, I don't want to overpower this good looking fish. So we need a little bit more butter, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Always, always. There's we go. A little more of the butter, a little garlic. Love a little garlic in there. Just to have a little flavor, a little kick. You don't need, like I said, a couple of cloves minced up is fine. Now we're gonna put in a little toasted pecans here, gang. So I toasted these off earlier. It's gonna give it kind of a nutty flavor to the fish. A little That's more my kind of recipe, That's right. I don't know about your cooking. A little more salt and pepper. For. And finally, a little citrus. You know how you like a little lemon or lime over a little uh, fish? That goes in. We got a little lime juice there. Now. Gonna drizzle this, and this will continue to cook the fish too a little bit. Just that beautiful little drizzle. You see this recipe? Simple, easy, fast. How's that? Gonna take you Toasted five, pecan, five minutes almond or less. butter sauce, ready to roll. And like I said, this will work. This will work with about anything you catch. So whatever you catch, this sauce will work. We're digging in. Did you call eight one one? We're digging in. <laughs> Here we Our go. Locate is done. <laughs> okay. I've located some good fish over here. You get a little bit of that butter, a little oh bit of that to toasted pecan, mm -hmm. but not overpowered it, right? We still like that uh, beautiful fish. Sweet. It doesn't, uh, you know, I, I, I don't like those places where they take their fish, especially fresh fish, and they pour all this heavy duty sauce over there. No, the star is right here, the fish. And I, now I reason why you brought me, right here. Hey, we enjoy good food. We knew what we needed you for. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Bloodhound, the leader in private utility locating. Now it's time for your safe digging moment of the week, brought to you by 811. Always remember to call before you dig. The moment of the week has definitely got to be Mark Mason catching two fish on one tube. I've seen multiple fish caught on crankbaits before, but never have I seen two fish caught on one tube. I tell you what, old Tim's fish was some good fish there. Oh, I'm full. It was very good. I think what we ought to do here in a few is grab a few of these guys that are down here with us. And these are a part of your team at Bloodhound. And let these guys get in the boat and, and we take them and do a little fishing with them. They would love it. They would love it. These guys are getting competitive. I see a storm arising. I'm going fishing while they argue. I got to say, this is the most people I've had in my boat. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. look who, oh. now look, he, he <laughs> Y'all see who's earned, oh. oh, now wait, it didn't happen. Yeah. Well, you know, you guys, I want to tell y'all something. You look down here and you look written all over this boat and you, oh, the fish are coming in the boat. Look at this, another one, two of them. I think Tracy's up here leading a pack here. This is now my 811th fish today. You believe that? I feel, my hands feel like it. <laughs> yeah, we know your fishing etiquette. Go tell the contract. How's the fishing? I showed him my, my thumb hurts. I'm, t I'm telling him he's a great team leader. 
But this guy goes and tells a poor guy out there working, hey, look at my thumb. Uh, it's been a rough day. <laughs> this guy's out in 100 degree heat working on his barn. <laughs> well, guys, it's fun to get to uh, take a whole lineup of guys and throw them out here in the boat. One, Mark, you allowing your team to, to you know, do what they do and, and be about people's safety and all you guys get an opportunity to, to develop a company like that, make it greater, uh, educate people about safe digging and awareness and, 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 and bloodhound and, you know, they can get out there and what's your website address? What is it? B-H-U-G, B-H-U-G.com. There you go. Go out there. They can look at your all's information. One thing about calling Bloodhound, you've always got to call 811 first. Before Absolutely. these guys will come, you've got to call 811 first. And I, that's what I love. You know, right there, you're, it's all about being a shared partner in getting people to dig safe. Absolutely. The direction is brought to you by 811. Know what's below, call before you dig. We would also like to thank these fine partners. Closed captioning is brought to you by USA North. Call 811 before you dig.